expanding your time zone and your geographical location. My name is Mars Victor Onyido and I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, this is a program that was designed to bring you the in-depth analysis of what is happening in and around us here in the zoo and also all over the world. Once again, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis and with me here in the studio is uh, Mars, say your name now. Yeah, um, Marcy Ogefire again. Okay, you're welcome to the Sunrise uh, Day TV. Thank you very uh, much. Of course, you can do good to share our program in all our social media spaces. You can do good to share it on Skype, Periscope, YouTube, WhatsApp, and Facebook. And you can do good to log on to our website, which is www.biafrantv.co. And also make sure you call all of your friends and well wishers, all of us of freedom, even the critics, even those who criticize us online. You can also bring them to this very platform to make them come and listen and hear the gospel truth because here we are only here to expose the lies of the zoo and to make sure the truth is established for everyone to see. Once again, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, we'll be analyzing based on the thing that is going on in our land and uh, also crave your indulgence. Wherever you are, make sure you participate in whatever we are doing and uh, make sure that the whole world is watching alongside with you. And also you can use other listening device to listen to us. If you cannot have access to watch us, you can do good to use your uh, local receivers and uh, world receivers to listen to us via Radio Biafra London because we are transmitting through concurrently on Radio Biafra London as well. Once again, I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Onyida, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me. Mazi Oge Friday, you are welcome once again. Thank you very much. And of course, don't forget, we are also going to welcome Mazi Evis once he, joins, he joined us online, and also will get his own reactions and his own analysis based on the issues on ground. All right, uh, let me quickly go to some of the things we have here, because we have a lot of things that, is keep, that keep coming up. But we are going to look at the critical ones that we have here, one after the other. Yeah. This one goes like this. The Nigerian government plans to tackle agitation by ceding the Senate presidency to the southeast and hoping it will go a long way to pacify the region and give them a sense of belonging in the Nigerian equation. This is credited to Austin uh, Meregini in the Senate. Also, um, we have the this disturbing one that has to do with the killings that are just taking place in Biafran land in uh, Ozoan, uh, Enugu, Enugu province of Biafran land, and uh, here is the details. Breaking news: Heisman kills LG scribe in Enugu state. Onsoka on easy. An easy camp pervade the community in Izowa and the local government area of Enugu State as Heisman on Wednesday allegedly shot the secretary of the local government council for undisclosed reasons along Olo town in Erago local government area of the state. The assailed secretary of uh, Ozowa and the local government council identified simply said to have gone for a peace talk between community and the herdsmen that have been terrorizing uh, that part of uh, Ozo and the local government area in the recent past. When the herdsmen allegedly ambushed his vehicle and shot him in cold blood. Also, a report has gathered that the council secretary in the company of three others in a vehicle we are returning from the peace meeting when they are Alleged has alleged has men attacked their vehicle, causing stampede and uneasy tension while the occupants of the vehicle jumped out to different direction into the bridge for safety, and the assailant allegedly pursued the council scribe and shot him dead instantly along the Eziago LGA community road that shares common boundary with uh, Omolokba community headquarter also one in local government area of uh, Enugu State. Contacted for comments over the killing, the chairman also one in local government area, Mr. Fidelis Anne, confirmed the killing of the council scribe along Olo Community Road while returning from a peace meeting 
adding that the immediate cause of the killing has not been ascertained, but entry has been lodged at the Ziago Police Division at uh, Agoborg Awa for investigation to unveil the circumstances surrounding the killings. All right, uh, um, Mazi uh, Friday, um, from the reports that is just coming in, I think you would have something to make from it. Yes, um, so concerning the issue of uh, zoning the summit to the southeast as to stop or perhaps uh, quench the agitation going on in the region. There is no other agitation they are having in mind other than the agitation to restore Biafra. By all means, the federal government wants to stop the agitation to restore Biafra, uh, hoping that on awarding or zoning the senatorial or the Senate President's seat to the southeast will stop the people from agitating. There is something I want our people to get to the mind very clear. As long as this Senate is concerned. Now the man who was uh, in the Senate as the Senate President before, Bukala Saraki, lost from returning the Senate. And even if he won and returned to the Senate, it would be inhuman treatment of the highest and marginalization of the highest if the Senate failed to award the Senate President seat back to you know the South East. They will, be, they will feel politically marginalized. Why? Because the president is from the Hausa, the North. Okay, but from your own then perspective, the do you think that what the Southeast region wants now is the virus? No, uh, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. I'm just trying to analyze the political engagement of Nigeria. That before now, they know what they're supposed to do. Do you understand? But they're not doing it. So, awarding the seat of the Senate President to the Southeast is not by accidental. That is how it's supposed to be. For instance, the President came from the North. Then the Vice President came from the West. Automatically, the Senate President is supposed to be from the South or the Eastern region here. But the last regime before this one, it wasn't so. The last thing that I just concluded before the election that was held of recent, it was not like that. So they marginalized us in a greater way. You remember everything was Hausa Fulani, Hausa Fulani, they will give a little to the, Fulani, uh, to the um, Yorubas, and that will be it. Unfortunately to them, bringing it now as uh, an opportunity as to stop what is already going on in the region is something that will not work. Because the problem of our people, the problem of the indigenous people of Biafra is not any position at all. Even if you give us the presidency, it will still not stop the agitation to restore Biafra. That was why, whenever, even when they choose the um, P2B to run as the deputy to no, vice um, president. As, as vice president to um, PDP aspirant, Atiku Abubakar, he couldn't stop what we were doing. Do you understand? If it would have stopped it, it would have stopped, it would have started by then. You know, the changes would have started then but if you visit the streets you still see that people will react no what we need is what biafra 
So they would have do everything humanly possible to make sure that PDP didn't lose that office. Though on their own, they did what they're supposed to do as a civilized people. They didn't pray for anybody's downfall. But only our oppressors, our killers, we said no, that we don't want to vote for them. And that was why massively nobody voted for APC in our region. Not that PDP is the holiest, but the devil we know is better than the angel we don't know. So on the other side, zoning uh, the, the, the seat of the Senate president to Biafra land will not stop the agitation to restore Biafra. That is not what we need. Even the seat of the presidency is not what we need now. All we need is the total restoration of Biafra. And I will still want to encourage our people who will be deceived on hearing this news that uh, there is uh, equal sharing. It's just like uh, if you go to the polls, maybe in the end of the whole thing, the federal government will tell you, no, we don't want any senator to come from this state. But already the constitution has made it so that every state will give us at least 33 senators. And if you check the number of senators that come from our region and the senators that come from their own region, their own is higher than our own, as well as the House of uh, Representative members. Do you understand? So zoning the seat of the Senate President to us will not change what we are passing through now. That All person right. is still going to do his me. own way. The Thank deputy you Senate much. President, Ike Kuremado, has been there. What I'll has he done? Shortly, it's okay. Friday. All right, uh, all of us of freedom and friends of Biafra, I welcome you once again to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, I am not alone in the studio. I have Mazioge Friday with me in the studio. And also, I want to welcome Mazi Elvis, Aundiwe, who have just joined us. Mazi Elvis, Aundiwe, good morning. Yes, a very good morning to uh, you, my colleague, and uh, my co panel of analysts. Um, and, um, Good morning, Mazi Elvis. Elvis. Uh, listening. Yes, I. Can you hear me? I'm hearing you loud and clear. Please go ahead. Okay. I said a very good morning to you, Mazi Victor Onyido, and uh, my co panel of analysts. Um, okay. And uh, morning, I'm welcome. your friends that are listening. Those that are out there, most of our students and um, professors, allies, and um, all dignitaries that are listening this very morning. Today is going to be an awesome day. So as you listen, please come along with your jota, your pens, and your handouts because everything is going to happen here this very morning. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Mazi Evis Aoudiwe. Of course, uh, you have done very well by joining the discussion as it is getting hotter. Of course, uh, you have uh, you have heard about the two major topics we've been handling. Though we've not really touched the area of uh, the Heisman killing because uh, it is becoming a very paranoid. I mean, it is very becoming, it be, it's becoming very, very annoying of what is going on in our land. But we still want to look at the... Uh, uh, sitting the Senate uh, presidential seat to the southeast, of which is the new plan of the federal government in order to s see how they can quell the agitation for the restoration of Biafra. So, from your own perspective, do you think uh, that it will have any impact it's going to make? Even if they should sit the uh, Senate presidential seat to the southeast, it will in any way affect our struggle for the total restoration of Biafra. Um, my brother, what you just said right now um, it, it, it is so funny, you know, though um, it's the news, trending news in the, uh, the zoo. A Senate president that has been the kind of zone, zoned by the House of Oligarchy, what do you expect that very man to do in that very place? And at the same time, these people we which we are uh, invariably that we are a kind of hoping that um, they are doing great or trying to appease the land of Biafra or Igbos 
you should join the, their, gov uh, their, go their, their government. My brother, recently, was it day for yesterday or yesterday, do you know that Jubril himself rejected the uh, some bill amendment? About eight of them, he couldn't sign it. He said that, that the, those uh, uh, amendment bills and the laws is working against his government. And for that reason, that he himself will not sign it. And the uh, Senate went back, you know, without any argument, without anybody saying any word. So if you look at it right now, if this very man, uh, that they want a kind of this, uh, the, 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 their plans in which they said that they will now seed or uh, kind of uh, uh, take someone from their for land, in order to bring peace or unity, my brother, they are hallucinating. All these things they are doing is just like um, um, uh, uh, whitewash. You know, the more you look, the less you see. You know, so those of them that will make themselves available to that very place. I mean, they are part and parcel of their systems because you cannot do more than what they are expected because what they are doing in that very place is just by their script rule. They are just reading scripts, you know, the schools of scripts in which they did to brew and um, uh, 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 and um, uh, many of them, all those cabals that has confiscated the government, wrote to them. If you don't agree with what they said and you don't swear by what they what they want you to do, you will be removed. You know, so the system of a kind of uh, the, the, the 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 move of Send a kind of selecting or choosing or a kind of uh, bringing in a man from the devil land is not part of our struggle. I, I don't welcome that idea. It is for politicians because it doesn't benefit us. Since all this world, most, many of them, the things that have been happening to us, even the one that happens to recently to a kind of um, 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 trade fair, how many of them have been able to a kind of uh, come up and speak a word? None of them. So if they are being selected to be the Senate president or whatever, that very person should watch it because what happens to um, uh, this man uh, of uh, the former, uh, what is his name, during uh, uh, Obasanjo, what happened to him because they will kill him, you know? So that is the only thing I want to say. Just like uh, what I saw on social media this very morning, someone was asking me better. Why is it that many of them refuse to invest mostly their wealth in the land of Biafra? That uh, those of them they are cherished just like me because he just opened a new hotel in Abuja about two days ago. So the, the response was that uh, that the person should go and check how Ibeto has invested. But these are the Ibeto. These are the people that the government has sealed and closed all their their, their infrastructures, all their structures and factories. You know, yes, it doesn't stop them. They always go around buying land from a rejected place and they forcing themselves to be accepted in a search where they have been rejected. So if this man is a kind of, they, 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 they have the idea of kind of uh, trying to bring up or come up with a man from the proper land, it cannot change, it cannot change the agitation. So that's what I want to say. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Elvis, on the way for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, viewers and all over the uh, all friends and lovers of freedom all over the world, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor, you know, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me in the studio. Also, I have Mazi Elvis, also, who is standing by to educate our people and to also enlighten you on what is on ground. Of course, uh, we are talking about uh, the sitting of the Senate President to the Southeast region, which is a major ploy of the federal government to thwart uh, the Biafran agitation. And also, the hot topic of today is uh, the Hesman renewed killing in our land. Of course, uh, we will be ready to show you the picture of uh, our brother who went for a peace talk between, to mediate peace between the Fulani Hesman and the community, and on his way, he was ambushed and he got killed. We'll be going on a just short break for us to show you the picture. Just look at your screen and see the picture of our brother who was murdered. Back shortly. Alright, welcome back. 
Okay, Masi, every sound away. I hope you are still there. I want to come to you now. Um, yeah. Uh, based on this uh, full and renewed killing, you know, how do we begin to awaken our people to rise up and be vigilant to the vices of this uh, full and enhancement? Because uh, this time around, uh, that uh, uh, Jibril or whoever has not yet been sworn in and uh, already unleashing the festival of blood in our land. What do you think our people should do this time around in order to awake and uh, face the challenges headlong? My brother, what I want to actually say over this uh, um, problem or issue, this very issue has been there since the uh, regime of this very um, debris uh, and uh, the party of this APC. And people have been hearing about the issues and the uh, incident that has been happening. And uh, what baffles me most was that uh, they will hear that these people are everywhere and they are killing innocent souls, destroying their crops, even uh, raping women, and yet. When they were, were kind of going out, when they want to go out, they kind of uh, uh, seeking for the deliverance or kind of go to uh, their farms, they will not equip themselves. My brother, the, what I'm seeing in this very place is that our people has becoming a kind of, um, I don't just know. Well, uh, most of the times it brought down to some of the sermons that have been preached to the churches because many of their brains have been a kind of uh, been, uh, uh, being hypnotized. When your enemies kill you, try to sow a seed in his life, try to pity him, pray for him, even at your death, that God is the only one that will rise up and uh, kind of fight for you and you will hold your peace. And at the same time, just like I always said, David saw that if he goes by the way the Israelites are going, that he himself may be killed or lynched. But he came out and stood, just like as our leader, Master Nandi Kano, just came out and um, be speaking. I, I mean, stand the chance of being the, the voice to the voiceless and educating people on what to do at any time of a kind of there, if there is a, any time of an incidents like this happens. But you find out that these people are helping, they don't listen, they don't defend themselves. How could you not tell me that a man will go into the bush, a kind of go to his farm, only him, and uh, other people or someone that could go with other, other men into the bush, and something that happened, those of them will run away. My brother, it's just, he's, he's so gullible, he's so gullible, and the people are uh, kind of being so scared about this house, I don't know, when did our people learn to be so afraid? Before I used to know our people, be friends, as people that has lion's hearts. And those that has lion's hearts don't feel, I mean, I mean, they never feel afraid of anyone. Rather, they will face you head on. They don't run away because I could remember when houses, uh, kind of uh, these very people, they call, they call them um, Metasina. When they rose up in the, in the uh, Medigree during the early days, that was 80s. Our people refuted against them and they, 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 they extended it to Kanu and Kaduna. Our people joined forces to attack them and they ran away. Even the, when the Yorubas stood up against our people in the 90s, GUO and some other elites gathered some men, all these Pakasi boys, they went to Lagos and dealt with them. And they, 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 the people, our, our evil brothers that are living in that place, hold their peace. But these, day, these days, you will see none of them speaking. You will see even the people that have been killed. Some of them will wait till they, 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 they I mean, they were lynched or killed. They don't do anything. They are waiting for God to come down from heaven because David will not wait for God to come down from heaven before uh, 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 initiating the kind of uh, uh, execution to 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 Goliath. But our people are waiting for God to come down from heaven to fight for them. That is why they are being killed. Let me just tell you. Do you know one thing the Bible says? If your enemy kills you, finish and went and repent, that God will forgive him. Do you know that? So why will you not wait for your enemy to kill you and repent? My enemy cannot kill me. If your government are not speaking, my brother, you are the government of yourself because none of the governments has even helped you financially or did anything to assist you in any way. So you are, you are assisting yourself right from onset. When such a thing happens, let the villagers gather and a kind of face this problem. How many are there? 
someone that came from Futa German that don't even know any single Appian way in your in your vicinity. And you are running away from I mean from that from that very people. You are a coward. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Evi the way for that wonderful contribution. Also, there is this video making around where one of our Biafran brother was pleading passionately uh, to some Fulani herdsmen to leave his farm with their cows. Does this mean the future is now left in the hands of the Fulani herdsmen to decide who dies or lives, especially in, uh, in Biafran land, now that their brother is in charge? Hello, Mazevi, Ma did you hear me? Yes, okay. Um, it, 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 what you just said, it, the truth of it is not far fetched because uh, that's an implement, uh, kind of uh, implementation of what uh, Alaji and the Kule said. You know, they said it that they are happy that his brother is in charge. Even if he kills human beings and cut their legs and eating it raw, that he will not come up again to say that what this, what the houses, what their brothers are doing is evil. That he has learned to support their people. He has learned to follow them with whatever thing that is happening. That is why, in, when it comes to the things of uh, Boko Haram, henchmen and uh, and uh, Mieti Allah, because these are the three arms of terrorism that they are using in the zoo right now. You don't see their heads. You don't know who had them, who is their leader. But the houses, those incumbents, those cacos, those cabals, they are the sponsors, they are the, 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 the heads, and they, are the, 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 they use them, I mean politically, they use them to achieve their aims. But when it comes to our own, what we do is to sabotage. You know, if an house man tells you that he himself will no longer speak against his own brother, while Nyamodo comes up and went to Lagos and said that he will even openly verbatim and said that he will sabotage this very rape, this very uh, uh, struggle, who was looking on his own, came up and said such a thing, said, I mean, so, so, so many things. Even uh, 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 this man that I, I respect so much, um, I said the Kobo, but I don't want to go to, towards that very direction, people that we are looking up to. But I don't believe, I don't believe them because the so-called evil elites so they kind of rejected us they, 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 they insulted us they don't value us then why do you expect others that are following them at the back to value you so what the things that is happening is that the major problem we are facing is our brothers it's, I mean it's our elders it's our elites you know if, if they could gather together and do what the robbers are doing and do what the, the, the houses are doing supporting their own because when you go to Niger Delta right now, the so-called Niger Deltas, all these mili militaries or militias or whatever thing that's happening in that very place, they are elders in that place in Biafra land. They are, they, they are so supportive that they, 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 their unity is so cordial that you cannot penetrate. But when you come to the of IPOB that is worldwide, you see our people vow to do what? To sabotage and yet you see them doing it with impunity. My brother, it is time we wake up. It is time we wake up and shine our eyes because the enemies within is the most dangerous enemy you could have as a friend or brother or your father as well because they are about to kill you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, our brother Mazi Evi Samudiwe, for that wonderful contribution. Of course, all viewers all over the world, dear friends and friends, from where we share, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And uh, my name is Mazi Victor Onido, and I have Mazi. Uh, Okay Friday. okay, Friday with me in the studio. Of course, uh, Mazev is also standing by to analyze and to also answer all your questions when the time comes. Of course, you can do good to share our program. We are on Skype, we are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, and also on WhatsApp. Please do good to log on to our website, which is www.biafrantv.co, to also get hooked up with us. Of course, uh, we are transmitting concurrently on Radio Biafra London. You can also get hooked up with us through your local listening device and also be a part of the program. Once again, my name is Mazi Victor Onido and uh, I'm here uh, with Mazi Oge Friday in the studio. 
please uh, do good to call your friends your well wishers your neighbors and uh, all of us of freedom to come close and listen to the gospel of truth because this is different television this is where we expose the lies this is where we don't paint words we don't paint issues to suit what we believe in and that we say the truth the raw way it is coming out we analyze we say things other tv station couldn't say because we believe in the truth and the truth is what is going to set us free once again i welcome you to sunrise daily news analysis all right uh, uh mazi elvis i still come back to you once again um we also have uh, this very one you know it goes like this it says the um Igbo mandate union has vowed to mitigate all steps to neutralize Igbo interest in lagos and has ordered her members to stop buying lands in lagos and Ogun state Igbo businesses in lagos will be moved gradually to southeast state all businesses of the Igbos must have branches also in the southeast among other back home and uh, okay among others back home and uh, all uh, the Igbo business strategies must be exploited back home. So, Mazi Elvis, uh, on the way, um, uh, um, from this uh, new development, uh, I mean, how do you see it? How would you react to it? This very latest development by some of our people in Lagos to relocate. Do you think it's, uh, it's the right step in the right direction? Yes. My brother, it is easy to say than done. It is easy to a kind of uh, come up, you know, that is why they said, don't make a promise when you are provoked. Allow your anger to cease so that you could make a promise that will last. These people that came up right now with this very issue, to maybe today, they have been saying a thing like that, right from us. For example, I will, I will remind you of what happened during uh, 1993, during uh, Osama Biola or whatever. I could remember that uh, Alapa International went to Oba. Oba. Uh, after Rojeni, a, a route that leads to Newe, that is Expressway, they bought a very big portion of land. Is up to maybe, is I don't know, is up to 1,000 acres of uh, land, acre, not port, plot. They start to build the place. At the end of it all, they later abandon the project. They later, it go there right now, the buildings, they shop the building, that very place, that 1993 has lapidated, has been abandoned. Then another one was built when the, the Idumota was having problem. And the Mbadiluju went to Lagos and speak to them. They now gather together and give them a land again. If you are going to where after or back, before Abuku, there was a river there. If you look by your by your by your left, you will see another modern market in every place built. I mean, it? They left it up to be untouched, and every building. In every area has become an eyesore. Now they came up again with this very thing that they should do. My brother, watch them very well when they say those things. They are just saying it because of them. After some few days almost right now, the, the unit that came up with it, I yeah, will start that. And you will find out that whatever thing they start, they don't finish. I don't know if the land is a first land to them or they are the first people. Because I've noticed that whatever thing they came in unity to do in that land, will, uh, they never finish it. At the end of it, they stop moving away. Now tell me, in that place right now, that land, what happens that they could not be able to finish what they started? Why did they abandon it? And now to join and even keep bringing their people back to Lagos and tell them now where the MMN and that is don't think they happen. Just stay here. I'll go to my brother. They, they just said it. Let people watch the make be to work out their mouth what they have this time. You do the needful. But I doubt. Thank you very much. 
All right, thank you very much, Mazi Evis, all the way for that wonderful submission. Of course, I will come back to you shortly. All right, uh, Mazi, okay, Friday, I come to you. You know, based on this uh, latest uh, development and uh, trending uh, about uh, the relocation of uh, our brother's businesses, uh, especially in Lagos, um, what would you make of it? Yeah, um, it would be very good if they hear the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Uh, our people are known for their stubbornness. They don't hear and adhere to instructions once. We are known for running for war when they come to our doorstep. When we hear the alert, we don't always pay attention and take precautions until when it comes to our doorstep. But should they do this, which they have said, because of what IPOB and the leader of IPOB is saying, seeing what is to come, it will be very good and the kudos will be given to them. But I still see so many of them who will not adhere to this. There are many of them whom, despite what we say, on radio, Biafra, and Biafra television, they will never give attention to it. Not knowing that we have seen from afar what is to come, what is to befall them. And the earlier they do this, the better for them. Because if they start gradually now, in the no distant time, they are going to achieve a lot better compared to folding their hands and allow the mayhem to totally befall them. On that note, a lot will be damaged because it will lead to loss of life and property. Because when all your means of livelihood is being destroyed, all that you felt you've labored for, you've invested for years, will be destroyed or taken away from you. You have no choice. Many people lose their life because of that. But when you take adequate precaution at the right time, now that we are telling you this, not coming to the people or the media and tell us this is what you want to do, make sure that you put it into practice because we know the danger ahead. That is why we are telling you this. Just like what is happening in Enugu, where the herdsmen killed our brethren there, who went for peace making. It is just to tell you that they are not ready for peace. They don't want to negotiate with you. Incident like that happened at Nimbo some years back. The governor of the state went to that area and began to cry, Governor Uwanyi. We all saw the drama that happened there. And now they went to make peace with the killers and they turned around to kill them. If others did not escape, nobody knew what would have happened. And tomorrow now, the people will not even take adequate precaution, knowing that these people are not ready for peace. We've been saying it loud and clear. With the language, you will understand that these people are not the kind of people you will go to make peace with. The house of Fulanese, they are ready for jihad. There are ways to have the context. What do you think our people should do? Of course, we've been saying it before now that our people should wake up and face what is facing them. This is not all about maybe going to church, praying and fasting and the rest of We say it loud and clear in your hearings that from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the sons of violence do what? Takes it by force. There was a Bible, there was a place in the Bible, you know, when Jesus, or perhaps when Yahushua told his uh, disciples, if you do not have arms, sell your clothes and buy one. Listen, if we are saying it, it will look as if we are trying to deceive people, but we are, trying to, we are telling you what is to happen. If you may be in the church praying, oh, Father, I do this and that, but if our husband will come and kill you there, because they have what is superior than what you have. Do you understand? This is not a warfare you go in just, uh, with, just like that, empty-handed. Join IPUB. There are so many things we will not tell you on air. But if you come, we will tell you the ways you can avert these people. Do you understand? They are trying to claim the ownership of our land. They are trying to take over. They are trying to fear us. You know, so that many of you, if you see them, you're wrong. They will take territory, uh, they will take over our territory. 
but that is not what it is but on the contrary don't you think they are already the owners of the land because if you watch one of our video that is making i mean uh, the video for one of our brother that is making around yes. where he's pleading with the full and his men to mm. please leave the land with their cow in order for him to we harvest, harvest the cattle. little crop that is remaining yes. from what their cow must have destroyed don't you think they are now in charge if he's so if he's pleading so passionately for them to leave his land in peace so that he can be able to avert the little one that is remaining so don't you think that uh, as it stands now they have uh, you know created an, an impression for the people to think that the life the power of life and death is already in their hand they determine who lives or who dies yes uh, now let me there's something i want you to understand here for you to do something and get it achieved properly first of all you must do this running what they are doing now is test running they want to experiment and see what will be the reaction of the people before their final word on mission of the mayhem so on playing this prank hmm, it is true that they are everywhere they are scattered nooks and cranny of our region there's no doubt about it outside of Tagoka. but they are trying to test run what they want to do hmm? they are trying to experiment to ascertain what will be the reaction of the people and we are telling you that if you lose this opportunity this opportunity now if you lose it now it is going to be very difficult for you and that is why we are calling all our people wherever you are to stand up they want to take over the ways to take over is what they are trying to test on and if you fail now if we fail now they will perpetually take over our land and that is not what we are going to, that is not what we are going to allow that our brother who was crying you see how helpless he was begging them please now please now just go let me harvest the remaining one he was very very, very helpless if you allow them to meet you now eh, you will be helpless in your domain even if they decide to bring their car and occupy your compound you will not be doing anything other than please now please now drive away your car let me you know find a space to stay but there are things you will do hmm? they will not even have the space to come for instance if you come if they bring their car today you know you take it with them you give them what they need tomorrow you will not see them again they will run away if they go to another place the, 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 the next person at the other end will still repeat the same thing they will go back to, the, to tell the Alahaji who sent them that this place is not conducive these people are wise now I don't think this thing can work here let us begin to look for another place to go to do you understand so that is the only way they have not taken over fully they have not fully taken over our land they are just trying to experiment how they will take over everything and the reaction of the people which will give them the final on what to do all right thank you very much mazi okay friday for that wonderful submission of course all of us of freedom and their fans listening and watching us all over the world this is sunrise daily news analysis and my name is mazi victor on you and i have mazi okay friday with me here in the studio and also mazi evis on the way is also standing by to address uh, the issues as they are coming up Right now we are going to be going on a short break and uh, once we come back from the break we'll open the phone lines for you to call in to make your contributions and to ask your questions if you have any question because this is Biafra Television where we expose the lies. We don't paint anything to suit or favor us in any way. We expose the lies of the zoo and uh, tell you the truth exactly as it is coming out. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back shortly. Thank you.
welcome friends and lovers of Biafra. I welcome you once again to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Oyinda, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me in the studio. And of course, uh, Mazi Evis is also standing by in order to address the issues that we have here. All right, our phone lines are open for you to call in to make your contribution and to ask your question. Of course, you can call us on our WhatsApp line, which is uh, plus two three four nine zero five six six. 0853. I call it again plus two three four nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three. And also our phone line is plus two three four seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six. Also you can call us on Skype at Sunrise BTV or at Facebook Messenger on Sunrise at Sunrise BTV. Also, do good to share our program in all your social media spaces to get others to come on board. All right, we have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Uh, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Uh, uh, yeah, can you turn down the volume of the device? Okay, I've turned down the volume. Yeah, Mazi, I want to thank you for the wonderful job you are doing. I'm calling from Hong Kong. Okay, thank you. My name is uh, yeah, my name is Aoka uh, Emmanuel. Okay. So I want to contribute about uh, about our brothers in in uh, trade fair so about uh, locating their business back to uh, Japan lands. I don't uh, I don't see anything. Uh, uh, I don't see any good uh, idea concerning about that because I know that they want to use that as a politics. You know, if you follow our people, the way our people do things back there in Lagos, you start, they are, their mentality is different totally. I'm telling you because ours, we stay in the diaspora, we say, for reason, we reason very well more than them. Their mentality, mentality is totally different. What I want to tell you is that this thing is that the Yoruba people are doing experiments with us. What they are planning to do concerning that uh, 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 trade fair market is they want to see if it's going to work out. If it works out, then they will, will shift to Alaba. Also, do the same thing in Alaba market, another market that our people are controlling. But our people doesn't know their plan. They don't know what they are, what they are planning. So that is just the problem our people are having. I don't know when our people are going to wise up and know the, the, the real fact about these uh, Yoruba people. These people are wicked and they are, they are heartless people. I've, I've stayed with them. I was born and brought up in that part of the world. I know what they can do. But while they are trying to tell some of our people, they will say, hey, don't forget, Lagos is uh, no mass land. This, that. It has happened now. So I don't know what to say about our people. Our people need to learn. I don't know. I don't know. No problem. It's okay. That's my contribution for today. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, and we do appreciate you. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and we'll appreciate all your reactions and your contributions. Keep the calls coming in. Um, let me still call out the numbers once again so that you can have it. Our uh, WhatsApp line is uh, plus two three four nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three. And the phone line is uh, plus two three four seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six. Also, you can call us on Skype at Sunrise BTV or Facebook Messenger at Sunrise BTV. Now we we'll have a call on the phone. Call on the uh, phone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Susan. I'm calling my voice. Okay, Susa, please speak and louder and uh, go ahead and make your contributions. Uh, my contribution this morning is uh, first of all, let me thank you people for your good effort in, the, in the bringing up the advice in the, from this view. So I want to also thank our leader for taking up the time in the restoration of their proceeds. I have a, a, a question that has been doing online. And I want to give an answer to that question. Some people are saying that they are saying positive and negative things in regarding to the silence of our We are not uh, saying anything. Some are saying he is bringing confusion in the zoo. Some are saying that he is running away and he is afraid of doing it. I want to give answer to the negative 
and uh, reply they are giving. If you think that our leader is not doing the needful, that he is a coward, that he is a fool, that he has taken our money and run away and so on and so forth, you the negative comments you are making in regardless to the value. And you think you can do better than I do. Let us clear the ground for you. You take up the floor. You take up the floor. When you take up the floor, and if what you are doing is better than that of the ITU, we will leave ITU behind you. But if you don't have anything to offer, and you are disturbing the, the peace of the ITU, and there are better plans for the Australian please carry your, your, your foolishness to the next uh, 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 platform. Not in this struggle. Because we, the IPOP, believe in what our leader is doing and is doing everything under his under the grace of humanity to restore the effort. If you think you don't have anything better to offer, don't go up online or don't go up on the platform to think nonsense. And if for those of them that are talking about this cowardly people, this I don't know who they are, these are the people that our leader said they are no member of the IPOP. They came to bring down the effort from the IPOP. You want us to give you command to go and start fighting? People think you have the ambition to confront this. You are free. And you take up the platform, or you can move with another uh, 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 organization or institution that can fight the zoo and restore the for quicker. And keep your peace out of IPOP. You got IPOP and know what they are planning and know what they are doing. And they are doing this for the transition of the effort. So if you think that they are, they, 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 the slowness that they are taking is not giving you the the, 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 the fly you need, please, please, you can say you can um, create your own platform and start doing your losses on your own, on right. your own with the restoration Thank of you your own, own of the effort. So if you, if you believe you don't have anything to offer, just clear the way. Let us you continue with what they are doing. This is my contribution this morning, and may God bless you as a... You have to everything yes, you too. Thank you very much. We appreciate you for that your wonderful contribution. Of course, keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise right, Daily News Analysis. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello? Uh, call on WhatsApp. Good morning and welcome to the program. Hey, good morning. Good morning and welcome. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Okay, please. My name is PC. I'm calling from Dakar, Senegal. Okay, you are I'm uh, from Malambra State. Okay. And um, from my view is from Banka, Malambra State, the local government. In Biafra land. Please, I want to give uh, maybe some. I want to give to people for some work you people are doing in the Biafra land. May you come okay. and be my blessing people in Jesus' name. Bless you too. So please, uh, regarding of his men in our uh, community or the Biafra land, please. For it's our uh, this all this our uh, when you call it in in, in, in Biafra land, all this our case men. The case men in our community have to wake up to stop all these uh, case men in the community. They have to go stand up, call the youth, organize the youth to have a security in the all the whole village. Not every IPOB will come to the village and do it for them. They will come up with something, stop all this investment, enter inside the village. Okay. Please go ahead. Hello? We can hear you loud and clear. Please Hello? Go ahead. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. So please, uh, there is what I want to comment on. This okay. killing of our people in the villages is very, very bad. It's very, very bad because in our place, we are many villages, they have a case left. They have the people taking the care of the, the security people in the village. What are they doing? Okay. Thank you very much for that so one. So I would like to make the pass the message that the villagers organize themselves. They have a case maker, they have the king in the village. What are they doing in the village? All these villagers. Eh? 
They are not there to eat own money. They are not there to go to Abuja and the uh, uh, government has to collect money. Mazi, they are, do, they are, they are, they are there to sit. Okay. Eh? We'll move over to the next one. Thank you. I will right, have another call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. It's good. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Ototoma. 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 Welcome. Thank you. My name is Ide. Okay. Mazo, Mazo, the Friday. Yes. Make it right. make it right tomorrow now. No. And the Mazo, my brother. Victor, you do. No, make it right. You're not reporting from. No, no. Sorry, I want to speak my language, my brother. Okay, please go ahead and speak your language. Yes, not report from. No, no. Want to that is no, no. Allow, allow the officer. Abba, I report now. Okay. About that, make a million naira naira. There. That is my freedom. Two hundred thousand. Because you know, now now I'm going to carry my own money. Two hundred thousand naira. I'm going to take a walida. I'm the cano. I'm the one to move for. I'm the man who needs it. Two hundred thousand people one by one. When you are planning, you need to put in your plan to do that. Two hundred thousand people. Our border is not outside Nigeria. You go bring the men. ก็ไปอยู่ในนาคันดิซูชูกะโกซิจิเซอ๋อโอ้ทุกทุกโอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้
peace. We have been crying in the witness, calling upon this, our brothers to listen to the word of Chibo Kajama, but they refused. Isn't the, the corona of Epony, the devil mind that uh, uh, after those in the north, when they are the one you to give them quick notice, they kept to stay in there and they uh, are using their uh, military, killing them, telling them that they are government and uh, they are unmanned. They, uh, uh, they can call them one name or the other. But these people killing them there in the, the southern Kaduna and every other part, basically, Benway. Those are men, Nigerian military. They will put on their uniform in the day, in the night, they be on marching and kill many people. And uh, they, 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 the whole media will not report the, the, those people that have been killed. So these are the work of the governor of the boy, he said, Devil Mari, who advised them to stay there. Assuming that if they obey the word of our leader, the, the word of the IPO be calling them to return. When there is still day, they could not have been the victim. So are those in the uh, Lagos and every other part of the West. So now there is a day. We can do as well. Anytime one wake up, it's his own day. It's his own morning time. So uh, I advise our brothers, if they have waked up from their slumber, let them begin to address strictly to the word of our great leader, Martin Amdekano. The IPOB is calling all Japans to come back to home. There is no place like home. Uh, the leadership of IPOB, you are doing a wonderful work. I thank you. This uh, IPOB is uh, an agenda of uh, the great Chukwoka drama. God is using IPOB to deliver not only the Japans, but the entire black race. So the... God himself is doing it, and he is going to do it, and uh, this project will come to the total manifestation, total reality. Oh, man, it, in fact, Biafra is uncontrollable. He is uncontrollable. God is doing the work. I thank you, and remain blessed in the mighty name of Chikoki Kabiyama. He said, I remember you yes, wherever you are. Thank you very much, our brother. We appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. All right, we have a call on the Skype. Call on Skype, good morning. Yes, good morning from here, Mazi, uh, Mazi Victor, and Mazi Oriako. And this, good morning from here. Good morning, and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Yes, uh, my name is Pastor Jack. I'm calling from Lagos this morning. I heard from Umo, and Umo is in Mbisi, the autonomous community. Mbisi is in Ohaji, and Ohaji is in Imo province. I first of all want to give God thanks for indigenous people of Biafra. I also want to appreciate God for giving us somebody like Mazi Nandekano. If not for IPOB and Mazi Nandekano and other principal officers, where we are today, we wouldn't have it here. As somebody said, uh, Punani people and all that, they are doing test run. My brother, this morning I want to tell you that they are not only doing test run, they want to implement their long age plan. They have seen that their land have no defense so far. The only fear they have now is IPOB. But if you think they are doing test run in their land, you are mistaken. They have already positioned themselves about to strike but the only thing that is holding them now is they don't know the back the backup plan of indigenous people of Biafra is the only thing keeping them in view of that i only want to say those people who are going about yapping their mouth saying or criticizing i'm not against anybody criticizing what ipob is doing but those people going about yapping trying to destroy what you are doing in fact your name is sorry because let me make it clear to you. You have seen the word uh, media, conspiracy, and blackout. That they don't want to see their first survive. They are committing another genocide against our people. And you are there yapping your mouth against your people. When the time comes, you will also be slaughtered. But one thing is sure. The African people have decided we will never give up until we get our freedom. It doesn't matter what it's going to cost. I want to assure you, even though we give in again, then 20 million people, we must make sure Biafra is in stock. If I don't today, other people should continue. 
If you are the outside today, we continue the struggle. I want to assure you that. But the only one thing I want our people to do this very time because it has become very pertinent that these people are pushing and striking us from all uh, from different angles, both from international and all that. IPOB, please, I want to uh, back on you that every backup plan you have for this struggle begin to approach them because we are getting to the, that point that we'll be able to implement what we have in order to get our sovereign nation restored. And again, I want to and again, I want to call for a national consolidated fund because we have been saying we want to install transmitters so that many people can get this message. I want to call for national consolidated fund whereby every day can hurry. No matter where you are, no matter what you do, you are spending it for pay into this account, donate money into this account so that we can be able to assess transmitters that will go around, that will reach the people, so that people can hear this message, so that everybody's mind at the same time will be prepared, so that at the same time we move forward and actualize and restore our dear nation. Thank you this morning, Mazoriaku and Victor. I'm signing out from here. Thank you. Thank you very much for that wonderful contribution, our brother, and uh, of course, we appreciate your contribution. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Onyido, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me here in the studio, and also our brother Mazi Everson, who is also standing by to attend to us and to educate us on the nitty-gritty of uh, what we are in now at this very particular situation point in time. Please keep the calls coming in. And uh, we are ready to pick your course at the moment. We'll have a call on Skype. Call on Skype. Good morning. All right. Seem to have lost him. All right. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello. My on you doing? Good morning. I'm welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depending on your time zone. I remain your brother, Mazi Patrick. As a big crook. I appreciate you, Koko Kadama, for this great, precious opportunity, privilege, begin to, to forge ahead in this propagation of everlasting gospel. If we do not know, we should know that this thing is everlasting gospel being preached, opening the eyes of the whole world to know the deception that people have faced in the hands of the British and in the hands of the Afro land. I just want to relate to what one of our brothers said, you know, commenting on what people are saying in the uh, commenting on Facebook. I want to let the whole Biafra or ITOB in particular, indigenous people of Biafra to know that everyone should go listen to any information from the IPOB family meeting or IPOB any platform, any platform other than IPOB platform, don't don't bother, don't 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 be confined, don't don't perturbed. Why am I saying this? You should all of us should know that Facebook is is by Yoruba and they're being compromised. Facebook, the owner of Facebook, came to Nigeria and is compromised. So whatever you, you see that is happening there is the Yoruba answering certain them. And some of our people, they are called elites, that, they, that, that, uh, that are bound, that have been sworn to be servants to the, the, to the house, to, to the zoo. So they will employ all these people, they will be writing jargon in this. So our people, anybody that calls him or herself, a, 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 an IPOD member or a hacker should listen to IPOD platform, all this of Radio Biafra and the rest of the any information that is not coming from there. Don't listen to them, don't be distracted. They want to distract us. This is what they use divide and rule. What they used to divide us to divide us to, during the 1960s. So we have to learn by that saying as much as should have. Don't be listening to what they are saying in Facebook and the rest of them because they are all Yoruba and the, uh, the, the, the owner of, uh, of uh, Facebook being compromised. Secondly, to our brother just said something very important. This uh, continuity, please, we should revisit it. Don't like uh, our leader, the leadership of IPOB, please. 
Don't 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 pity the Biafra and the people living in Biafra. Please, we we want to go. So anything, if you, if I don't have, I bought them a half. So anything, then the central court will set an the based on the form form where we we are a monthly whatever. So if it's that, the truth is, if anybody that has something in case for you, will specify this for the purpose. Don't pity the people in Biafra. We want to. This type we are we are dashing to this Euro that they are using to buy private jets, which is meant for the poor, which they are using. We, we should use it to, to get our freedom. So we, you, even if I ha, you are don't have anything, the type in a June type, I just to say, I put it in, in that because we so, so that we get our freedom. So I, 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 the, last and not the least, is uh, uh, the, uh, the, the movement, what is happening now? Is uh, an eye opener. So whatever platform, because we have seen that there's an international conspiracy, the world has conspired against us. So whatever move we are making, I'm telling, uh, I'm holding the eye to the leadership. Whatever, uh, um, because we need, we, we have to defend ourselves. We need to defend ourselves. In time we decide to begin to defend ourselves, please, leadership of should not come out. This is this advice. My, uh, you can throw it away. She will not come out in the international platform and say, hey, whenever we take and we we'll come out to say, we will not say that. They, they are, we don't know who we are fighting. They are all our enemies. We, whatever will happen will be happening. Please. Do, nobody should come out and say, we are not going to carry arms. It can never happen. Please. The, the people we are going to tell you is going to be killing us. The international platform has proved oh, the you only reason that, that, that they are going to try to kill us. So why for that? God bless let, Biafra. Uh, In the name of our Lord, I declare. You see? You see? Thank you very much for that contribution. Of course, keep the calls coming in. We have another call on Skype. Call on Skype, good morning. Yes, good morning, Mazi. I don't know if you can hear me. Good morning, I can hear you loud and clear. Please go ahead. Tell us okay, I'm calling from um, Ikocha. This is Mazi, Daniel, Daniel Luso. I okay. just want to greet each and every one of us, wherever we are. I pray may the good Lord continue to stand by us. May He continue yes. to give us the victory that we earnestly desire. Briefly, I just want to add my voice to that of my brother who had said that um, the second to the last caller, he said any backup plan that we have, we should start looking for ways to implement it. Look, it is as if um, to the international communities, we have decided to drive this struggle in a very peaceful manner. And we have been counting our losses all this while. We have been counting our losses indeed. Intimidation, fear, even in our businesses, we are being discriminated, we are being rejected. It is as if there is no value to the lives of their fans. But very soon, we have to do what we are, is going to attract attention, what is going to send a vital message that indeed we are serious, that indeed we know what we are doing. It is as if in the world today, if you don't bear arms, nobody is going to listen to you. The 50-something people were killed uh, recently in New Zealand, and everybody was crying. There was uproar everywhere. But we have been dying in our numbers over here. There is no uproar. Nobody is saying anything. Nobody is talking about us. So we, 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 we are going to fall back and do what is necessary for people to understand the plight that indigenous people of Biafra is passing through. I thank God for the evil mandate uh, group uh, or union in Lagos. I thank God for their resolution. It is time for each and every one of them to come back to their senses and start relocating back to the southeast. Don't be a victim of, uh, of, 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 of history because such event took place in 1966 and a lot of people who failed to learn or who failed to yield to the voices of others were collateral damage before the, 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 the civil war. Uh, 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 and this time around we are also calling on them there is about to be a repetition of history please don't be a collateral damage on the way, come back, your people are going to accept you your land is ready, waiting to accept you I greet each and every one of us this morning, my name is Mary Mazida and also I'm calling for me Gota. thank you very much, much my brother for this opportunity you for that wonderful contribution. thank you very much and stay blessed wherever you are Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and we are here to pick your call. All right, we'll have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. My name is Isoko uh, Jacob. I'm calling from Abakali, Fibia, Okay, please go ahead. 
Hello? Please go ahead, we can hear you. Uh, Pico, uh, you know, I can't get just to go to the lawyer. Uh, no, 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 no. Friday. Man, I feel that the case what? Yesterday, I was the railway from five o'clock in Ototo to uh, evening. I went to Ototo Mabe, I went to Mabe. We brought, we brought the guest to airport. Even this morning, I went to go. Hello. I seem to be busy here. Can I find the place? I'm at the airport. Hello. I said, what is the number of that place? That very place. Can I fire? Easy. 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 Okay. The fight between Easy and Ukele Cross River. Okay, no problem. Thing. We'll get more. Yeah, this, this, this morning. This morning. Information on the way. La Odrika. Odrika. Gone shot. La Niruna. Not that we like that. I wish. Even my dad. Everybody. No, no, talk it so, in the thing I brought in us, because I said, go to dance from the handsmen. I just did not support to send this, uh, because I'm on the way I made a, made a, from the handsmen, allow, and around at their area. So, I died, I had to talk on the handsmen, and I made that. Siko, in my job, I had to do this with you, and I had to do my people, and I had to do that. I had to do that. I had to do this time. I'm not a guy who fights between the Nabiaka and the Wood of Jenison, or any other guy in the Alright, We'll be getting more information based on that very report, and uh, we'll know exactly the situation of uh, what is on ground in that very place. Of course, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is uh, Mazi Victor Onyido. And uh, please keep the calls coming in. Our lines are open for you to call. All right, uh, Mazi, okay, Friday. Based yes. on the submission of the last caller, I think uh, you would have something to yes, uh, say. He who is closer to the drum knows the way it sounds. Okay. It is only somebody who do not help me, but instead that will not understand what is happening over there. I've been saying this time without number that Ebony State is surrounded with a lot of enemies. The House of Fulanese has planted our brethren to face us in a battlefield. Uh, just like he's saying, it is not uh, a joke. Either is it lies or cock and bull stories. That is the way it happens. Sometimes the firing will continue for more than 72 hours. So many of our people are being forced into war. So many of our people are being forced into carrying guns, fighting brothers. The people of the Cross River and the people of Benue, they are seriously fighting the people of Ebony State. Quite unfortunate, the state government seems not to be doing anything. Even when peace uh, meeting will be held, they will come to an agreement. Our people, they are peace-loving people. The House of Fulanese, they will go behind screen and instigate the trouble. They will pick up arms again and start fighting us. So. We are pleading to the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra to call on all these our brethren from the two sides 
We have gone to all these war zones. Our people are ready to lay down their arms. Our people are ready to accept peace, to reign. But on the other side, our brethren from the river high areas, the cross river, and the Benue side, they don't want to listen to this. And you cannot fold your hands and watch people kill you like that. So that is why it seems that on a daily basis, all these things is happening. It is painful. Many of our people cannot sleep in their homes. Many people cannot run their businesses anymore. We are blessed for five people we should, by all means, help us. This is exactly what we are saying. And our people from the uh, Cross River, Benue State, you should understand that this fight, for us to win the House of Fulanese, for us to get Biafra restored, we must fight with unity. We must fight with oneness. So you need to encourage your people, wherever you are, call your people. Those, you know, uh, those in, in diaspora who come back home, uh, you contribute money to buy guns and give to your people. Even if you have to do so, encourage them that there are many things that is supposed to be used for, not to kill your brethren. Let the IPOB family go on educating our brethren from these places so that they will lay down their arms. We we'll have one concentration and unanimously fight our enemies to get Biafra restored. Okay. But with this level, it is not going to give us the data concentration we need. Our people are running health scatter for a survivor to make sure that their life is safe. Okay. Thank you very much, Abra Damazi Oge Friday, for that uh, submission. Of course, uh, um, we are going to look into that you know, much, uh, in, in much later days to come because we would like to kind of uh, get the reject of what is happening and get to the root of the matter what must have been the cause of the fighting it's, it's, it's all men. about uh, no we are going to get all those things uh, so, so it's not a very big matter to treat it especially so that uh, we will understand how to lay the foundation for peace among the two fighting brethren i mean yeah because all of us are dear friends yes so um we are not going to wash our linen in the public so of course uh, we are uh, Reform Television, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and uh, we are bringing you the in-depth analysis of what is happening and what is going on in Biafra land and different places of the zoo. Of course, you can do good to call in this time around to make a contribution and to ask your question if you have any question, any reaction, anything that you would like to contribute to our program this morning. Please feel free to do that because we are here to attend to all of that and also i have mazi Oge friday with me here in the studio and uh, mazi elvis on the way is also standing by in order to attend to us and also also to get our people mazi elvis can you hear me i have been waiting for a moment like this to kind of contribute towards the uh, two or three contributions yes. that i just that's why i'm coming to you now <laughs> because i know you would have a lot of things to contribute of course, we should start from the first one. Please go ahead. The floor is yours. Yes, I I should kind of uh, address some little, um, uh, you know, though we are entitled to our personal opinion. Okay. Um, one, one of our brother called and said that those that are in diaspora are more uh, kind of intelligent than those that is in the Biafra. Though that is his own opinion, but um, I disagree with such uh, words because uh, without Biafra land, he wouldn't have been in the um, in diaspora. You know, he started from the Biafra land, and why we uh, many people that are uh, diaspora are to a kind of make things happen, just like uh, what just happened now that the um, the second to the last caller called, in which uh, okay, make some point on that. But I want to chip in something. Um, this part the, 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 our television is for this very struggle that everybody should come on, on uh, this platform and exchange their views but um, just like our deputy normally says always they should buttress their reports with evidence you know many yes. times people come on air telling you people are dying and uh, we are coming uh, and uh, things are happening and you know creating pandemonium and a, a, a kind of chaos you know causing a uh, hectic uh, uh, fears around the people so we cannot ascertain by such a uh, report though it might be true but the person should 
come up with what they call uh, concrete evidence, you know, because I, I had the one you were asking him, where was that? And uh, what was, the, because that is what the journalist has to do, number one is to know the place, number two is to find out how many uh, casualties, number three is to find out what erupted, what was the, 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 the issue that erupted the whole thing, so that you can be able to make out some points. So, um, yes, of course, Mas, brother, brother. That, that was why I tried to keep it pending, so that uh, by tomorrow, when we must have uh, gone through some an investigation and got some reports, then we can be able to concretely, you understand, give people the real update of what must have transpired. I think uh, that is yes. why I kept it pending. Yes, that is where I'm driving at right now. Um, uh, my brother, okay, has said a little thing, but... Um, um, we most of the times should look into the, the, the fundamental aspect that is go to the root, the foundation of the issue. The people are not the problem, but the, 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 the problem there are those kings, those kings men, and uh, uh, those of the, the what do you call it, uh, kingsmen and whatever people that gathered to support because if you look at it this very angle, last about three weeks ago, or one, uh, one month per se, such a thing happens in Ayamelum, that is in Aida Nzam or, 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 or Moluba, whatever. A king in that land sold the land to the Fulanese. What are they trying to insinuate for them to come in to start creating pandemonium, to start creating problems within the uh, village, neighboring village and uh, each other, so that they could be able to collide or collude to fight each other? That is their aim. But most of the kings that are giving out those lands, you know, they sold them out, they sold their people out. So when the, the problem erupted, they ran away and people began to fight themselves. So by tomorrow, I think uh, we will look into it, you know, because uh, Biafra don't fight themselves. But the people that fight Biafra are our enemies, some of us that live around us. So that is what I want to contribute towards this very issue. Then concerning our people migrating from uh, Lagos, or uh, some other area like, uh, uh, like uh, Abuja and the North North, it is a mandatory and a compulsion to them if they will only listen. You know, because I came to realize that uh, it is only animal that keep on migrating from one portion of uh, jurisdictions to another. But we human beings migrate, we go back and forth. That is, you go and return back. But it seems like most of us are living like those kind of animal that migrate from one jurisdiction, from one geopolitical zone to another, remain in every place, and which is uh, is, is abnormal. So I believe that people should a kind of lender very uh, uh, systems. I mean, it, the, most of the Igbos, them that call themselves Igbos, when you 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 get to another man's land, learn to live as a stranger and not an indigenous of every land, so that most of your properties will have double base. If this one has a problem, you go back to your root and they can reinforce yourself again. That is the, the military tactics. You don't bring out all your eggs and fix it into one basket because if anything happens, you will lose all of them. That is what IPOB and our leader, Master Man, is trying to educate to our people. So thank you. I will stop you to ask my other question again. All right. Thank you very much, our brother Mazi Elvis. Uh, all the way for that wonderful contribution. Of course, uh, our lines are open for you to call in all of us of freedom to make your contribution and to bring your reaction. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. We are ready to pick your call at the moment. Our lines are open for you to call in. Let me call out the numbers again for you to call. Uh, our phone line is uh, plus two, three, four. I'm on WhatsApp. Please go ahead. Okay, please go ahead. Please go ahead. We can hear you. Tell us your number where you are calling from. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, uh, what I want to say is uh, regarding the. Um, Please tell us your name. Where you are calling from? Mazi. Uh, my name is uh, Mazi Ujudur. I'm calling from New Delhi in India. Okay. All I want to say is uh, regarding our people in Lagos, as we are 
asking them to bring some of the branch of the business to the east. Uh, since all these days, I made a uh, call on uh, radio Biafran television, or uh, in Biafran uh, television. After that, I met a lot of uh, communication to the east to find out uh, are they already build stores, are they already build plazas uh, every week. So I find out there is a lot of uh, shops built in Imo states. That's where they call OV. There's a lot of shop there. Not not a hundred in, in thousands. I made a war in a, a another place they build uh, another market call it Alaba. There's a lot of market there, so they go for and the now branch of the shop. If you like to start aware there's a lot of shop in Oware right now. So I'm talking there's a thousands of shop. Not it needs, and that is a year old or two years old, not not uh, less than one year or two years old. They already do there, so don't say that no shop, or you don't want to do it by yourself. If you want, if you want to, that's what. Uh, that's already made. Your line is breaking, Mazi. Please, um, can you? Call it and call us back. Of course, we've got your reaction. Thank you, and uh, we appreciate your contribution. Yeah. Please keep the calls coming in. Your line is breaking up, Marzi. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Marzi Victor Oindo. And our lines are open for you to call in to make your contribution and to also give your suggestion. Of course, uh, we appreciate the suggestion of the last callers. We have a lot of land in the Afram land where you can build and develop once you shift your investment down. And uh, if you don't want to, uh, to build by yourself, you can take one of those shops, like you have rightly mentioned, and it is scattered all over the places in Biafran land. So you can do good to invest, bring it down here. We can start. The, uh, the, uh, they say that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. So we can start all over again. We are good people. If we can be able to get to where we are now with just 20 pounds they gave us after the war, then... Why do you think that we cannot succeed this time around? If you begin to shift your things down, they have rejected us in the north, they have rejected us in the west. So, as they have rejected us, we cannot reject ourselves. Bring your investment down to Biafra land, and believe you me, together we'll achieve the restoration of Biafra. We are you, be free to do whatever you want without anybody dictating and messing you around. All right, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and our lines are open for you to make your calls and. Uh, uh, make a contribution and ask your question if you have any and if you have any suggestion like others have been doing since you can also bring those suggestions we appreciate them anything that will make the effort to come please feel free to bring it up and uh, we will gladly accept it all right uh, uh, i have mazio friday with me in the studio all right mazio friday you know um from the submission of uh, mazio uh, do you totally agree with him yes um it is high time our people begin to think of all these things, knowing it fully well that the indigenous people of Biafra is not trying to deceive them. We must start from somewhere. There are so many people in Lagos I know that own two, three, four shops. What we are doing is be a wise man here because a wise man doesn't put his eggs in one basket. Rather, you split it so that if, if, if it won't fall, at least you get to save some. Bring down one or two businesses down here so that if it is happening here, it is happening here. Who knows where you will even make it better? There are so many people who go from here to buy things in Lagos, but if you bring it to the doorstep, they will come here and other right. people will still come down to buy from here. To you. Thank you very much. Let me pick the call. Um, I have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Victor. And, uh, um, Okay, Friday. All right, thank Come you. On. Welcome to the program. You are doing a great job. Can you hear me very clear? I can hear you loud and clear. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Okay, good. You are, do, you are doing a great job. Thank My contribution this morning is that uh, my name is Okechuku. Okay. I'm calling from Italy. Okay. You see, this is also for an Yoruba counterpart. This is their last plan is going to fail. 
they are going to say in the, in the sense that uh, their plan is that when they start harassing Ugo in the Biafras in the north, harassing uh, Biafras in, in the west, then they will to consider Biafras situation. Things that Ugo, Biafras have no business. They have no business all over the, all over the country there. So they believe that when they started, because this is their plan, when they started harassing them both west and the south, uh, west and north, then the issue of the Biafra will go down. But they are going to say, what they are going to say is that this time around, when they begin to see that uh, the plan has started uh, locating their business to the, to the eastern region, that is where they are going to say finally. This is their last battle. Because what I'm, what I'm saying now is that definitely the other now are getting sense. They have been now realizing their mistakes. So which is a short time, period of time, because I'll read say it. He said he will not he will not, he will not he, they will not run until when they when they start to see the, the, the sign of what they what they what is telling them. And now they have started seeing it. And he said that when they start killing them, we will not he told them say so he will not hear a charm. So what I'm saying to the first man that this people are going to fail, definitely therefore will restore. Thank you very much. That's my contribution this morning. May God bless you all. Lord. I'm blessed Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. We appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, keep the calls coming in. Keep all your opinion and suggestion coming in. Ciao, girl. I'm still on there. What are you doing, sir? My friend. All right. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Please keep the calls coming in. Our lines are open for you to make your calls and uh, also make your contribution. If you have any question, of course, our analysts are here to attend to each and every one of them. My name is Mazze Victor, once again, and I have Mazze Oge Friday with me here in the studio. And uh, also Mazze is, is also standing by doing the good work of educating our people and uh, enlightening our people on the nitty-gritty of uh, what is going on in our land. All right, uh, um, Mazi, okay, Friday, why the calls keep coming in? Um, you are saying something. Please yes, so ahead. let us not feel that uh, it is too late for us to do this because there are people who will be afraid after all these years of uh, hustle, after all these years of uh, labor, you invest this, you do this, and now they are telling you to come up and maybe remove everything or uh, shift it. That is going to be difficult for you. Uh, the customers, uh, the things you have labored for, the neighbors you've made. But there is something we want you to understand. It is true that where the man's word is, that is where his heart is. But it is high time you begin to know that these people, they don't mean well for you. The bad people, we know them very well. They are very camelous in attitude. So they, they will always use all means of trickish ways as to get you law into their own bandwagon. Then they will deal with you. So all this why they've been targeting on how to deal with us. Forget about all these things that you've built. We'll even build something more than that in our land. What we are urging you now is just to play a game of wiseness. Be smart and do what the IPOB leadership is asking you to do. You will not lose anything. Even if you lose, the, the percentage of what you're going to lose will be lesser if you adhere to these instructions. Don't hack on your heart and feel that uh, nothing is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Left for us, we are peaceful people. We are peace-loving people. We would have allowed everything to move on, but all these years you've tried it, it didn't work. After all you've labored and dogged to achieve all you will achieve, they will come one day and destroy everything. You will start afresh. But your own is your own. If you come back, this is your land. Whatever thing you want to build here, you build it. Whatever thing you want to establish here, you establish it. Like our brother said, who called from uh, Imo State, we have so not only in Imo State, we have places in Onicha, we have places in uh, Owere. We have places in Anambra, we have places in Ebonye, Enugu, Bayosa, Delta State and Igwacha, where you can establish your business and it will thrive. So do not be afraid of anything. There are so many of our people who even live here. All right. Thank you very much, Mazoga Fred. I'm going to come back to you. We have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. 
Hello? Call on the phone. Good morning. We can hear you. Yeah, good morning. Uh, my name is Joshua Koli from Munich, Germany. Okay. Yeah, um, welcome to the program. Watch Please. your program yeah. live from Munich, Germany. And you people are doing a very great job. And it's a tough, it's a tough fact to know that we are all Nigeria. Because if we are Nigeria, no matter the people, we, the party, everybody have right to choose any party or vote for any party. So if we are Nigeria and we vote for any party, some people will not come out and say because we did not vote for this party, we have to vacate our shop or our uh, property. So it's right time for we to prepare ahead of our victory because it, it's quite obvious that the victory is near. So I will urge our people to know now that they, they, they should start thinking home and trying to relocate their things back home. We have to develop our region. We have to make sure our region works for us. We have the uh, human power. We have people that can work. We have everything to develop our place. And we, we should take laws into our hands. We should just pray and keep patient and keep watching. They will do what will bring our victory. We, that's just my contribution. And may God bless our leader, Mazuna the Kano. And may God bless all the lovers of freedom all over the world. And all you, Biafra. God bless you guys. Biafra will help you. Mm -hmm. And bless you to stay blessed wherever you are. We appreciate you for that wonderful call. Of course, keep the calls coming in. We appreciate you. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I welcome to Hello. The can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Uh, my name is Elvis Chinedu, calling from Benin, Ebro State. Okay. Mas Elvis, welcome. Hello. All right. Mas okay. Elvis, go ahead. Uh, can I hear you? Okay. Uh, I must speak a uh, good Friday and Victor. Uh, you guys are doing a wonderful job. Thank you. 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 Thank and my okay. problem are also blessed I I be all over the world and Mazen and the Kamo and also I do members in the in Edo State. Uh, I have a little contribution to add going on in Lagos. You know. Uh one thing I want to one thing our people fail to understand is this us has been hated all over the nation, all over Nigeria. Not only our size and Yorubas, even here in Benin. We have been, they hate us so much. They hate as in, don't, most of them don't want to use here to hear about Igbos. They are jealous of us. They are envy of us. Why? Because we are making progress in whatever we lay our hands. You know, some of us don't know what Benin's what Igbos did to Igbos in 1968. Can you believe that? What that more than five thousand it was during 1968, and they as a, they buried all their bodies in a in, in one particular place, place very very popular, in order to cover their uh, 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 in order to in order to cover their crimes, they went there and built a, a very big hall. Since then, till now, even so many churches has has rented the hall, but they cannot stay. So many people, even hospital has taken over the place, but like, as in, the spirit of our people has keep it, uh, has keeping on tormenting them. Even since then, till now, all these things have not yet stopped. Hello, can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Please go ahead. Hello? We can hear you. Hello? Okay, please, you will have to call us back. Hello? Can you hear me? All right, we'll have a call on the phone. Call on the phone, good morning. Hello, call on the phone. Good morning. Oh, we seem to have lost him. Please try and do call us back. We would like to get your contribution and your uh, inputs. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. My name is Mazi Victor. I will have a call on the phone. Good morning. Hello, call on the phone. Good morning. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. on the phone. Good morning. Please turn down the volume of your little Hello. device. Yeah. Good morning, Mazi. Uh, all right, Biafra. That's how we heard it. Please tell us your name. Are you hearing uh, me? You're calling us from. You are, are you hearing me? We can hear you loud and clear. Please go ahead and make a contribution. Okay, okay. Good morning, good morning, Mazi. I greet you on the Oge Friday. Um, what I want to say is that um, I am the Roma coordinator. My name is uh, Shedraki Chuku Bikewaf. I come from Nairobi province in Enugu, 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 Enugu state, Biafra land. So what I want to, I want to thank you people, you guys, this very, this morning for the good work you people are doing for us and uh, everything our leader Mazin Namdekar is doing since we started this struggle from the gratitude. So what I want to say this morning is this. Um, there is a guy who called from Italy here. He said that his name is okay. So I think we should be happy with us. We, we people are on the air. If anybody who come from Italy, more especially Roma here, people who should ask him, are you a member of IPOB? If he say yes, ask him what is the name of the coordinator so that the person can say, uh, uh, talk my, tell you people my name because these people, are our, they are our problem just like the Lagosians. How can somebody be in Italy here? You don't, we are having meeting in the Roma terminal, at the Roma center, that the whole train drop, it is as easy as it for everybody to come that very meeting. The person cannot come to the meeting, and then you pick up your phone and call Radio Biafra, and they give an opinion, and the media will think that you are, you are one of the members, Okay. If I Mas, let me help you out. You are not. not. You will be given Hello, Mas, can you uh, you? your own opinion. You should do this or do that. Why you are not coming? You are not even paying monthly due. Come, come on to a month. Hello, Mas, you can you hear me? We you? have a lot of levy to pay. They don't come to a meeting. They don't even care for what we are doing. But they can call our media to be given their own opinion. So, can you hear me? not good. Anybody who comes from home, go to a computer, go to you. But uh, you people should ask, are you a member of IPOB in Rome? If you're a member, where do you belong? Who is your coordinator? Because these people are the, our problem. They don't want to pay the money. Uh, the monthly do and all things we are doing here. And they are your... enjoying the radio Once. every day by day. That... All right. Please, next time you call, you announce the venue of your meeting so that your people will get uh, to know the, the address. All right. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Good morning, Mazi. Good morning, welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. My name is Osina Kachi Orapa. I'm from Abondise, Imo Spruni. I'm calling from Dakar, Senegal. All right. So, I thank Chuko Kabea for the life you gave to all of us. And I greet the Afras all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thank our leader, thank our deputy leader, thank all the coordinators all over the world. We say, Mbechuko Kabema, bless everybody. The mighty name of Shijawa Heshua. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. I want to contribute. On a sign of us in Lagos and in Kaduna, to hear our the voice, our lead, our the voice of our leader now. This thing happened in 1960 when Ojuku calling everybody, come back home, come back home. It is always the same voice have come back again now to tell everybody, come back and invest in your land. We are not listening again about our. Uh, Abandoned property that they abandoned that year, they will still accord to them again. They are here, what is happening in Lagos now? Everybody is shouting, we no go agree, we no go agree. You know, agree, we no go agree. They lock up there, you are still there, shouting, we no go agree. You will not come back and invest in your land. You are shouting. What I want to contribute to them is that it's not easy to them to come back and invest in their, in their land, but to make them try and come back. There are places you don't want to invest in your state. There are many places 
Araba Day, Gocha Day, Enugu Day, we have any places to invest. Is we are begging all our brothers to come back to us. I know that it's not easy, but if they started to think about it now, for this right. is gonna have to come back and do one or two things. I know that Thank you very much. Now. You help everyone else can take for now. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank, thank you very much. And of course, our last caller for today. Of course, Master V. Saudi, are you still there? Yes, my Please, can brother, you just use, I use one minute to give your final words of advice to the Afras because time is already against us. Yes, um, my brother, I just want to thank um, the Afras that called today. And um, I'm very happy that one person recognized me today. So I have one fan. So thank you very much for that very man from my Ivory State. And um, um, gradually we are getting there. Okay. Um, the only thing I will say as Episcopal advice or a kind of a contribution to our last minute is my brother. Um, I will use a phrase that says, Emengwangwa. A stitch in time saves nine. Someone that has been rejected by his own people cannot reject himself. So the reason why you fell is for you to rise. When you remain where you fall, that that becomes a problem. They said once beaten, why shy? All right, first move nice is it's not a okay. move. <laughs> time is against us. Let us continue tomorrow. Thank you very much, and we appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, uh, um, Mazi, okay, Friday, just two seconds, say something. Yeah, lastly, I want to tell our people to wake up. They are here, but they cannot overtake us if uh, we do the need for. All right. Thank you very much, and uh, work with IPOB leadership. All right, thank you very much. We appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, uh, dear friends and all of us of freedom, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and this is where we call the program a shot for today. Please join us same time, same station by tomorrow as we bring you other wonderful editions. Stay blessed wherever you are and keep watching Biafran Television and also listen to Radio Biafran London because more other interesting programs will be coming your way. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. From me, from here, we are signing out. Thank you. <laughs>